A Muslim says, my niece is getting married and it is going to be a mixed function with music, etc. I know it's not permissible to attend this, but what should be our approach in telling our close relatives that we cannot attend without the danger of severing kinship? Can we just go and congratulate them and give gifts before the function starts? To begin from the end, the answer is yes. If there is a haram function, there is free mixing between men and women, there is music, and they are close relatives to you. If you know that it starts at nine o'clock and you go at eight when the bride is getting ready and you go and visit them before the free mixing begins, then the music, and you give your gifts and give your congratulations and leave, this is totally permissible and there's no problem in that. Now, how to break the news for them, this should be our motto in life, that religion comes first. The pleasure of Allah comes first. When Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, was appointed as a Khalifa, Amirul Mu'mineen, the head of state and the ruler of all Muslims, he sent a message to Mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. And he said to her, advise me, but be brief. This is how the Arabs speak. They don't want long essays. Be brief and to the point. It saves time and it saves me from forgetting all the information that you had given me earlier. So Mother Aisha wrote back to him, wa alayka salam wa rahmatullah. I heard the Prophet alayhi salatu salam say, so she replied in the hadith, and this is as brief as it gets. I heard the Prophet wasallam say, whoever seeks the people's pleasure by angering Allah, Allah will become angry with him and he will make the people angry with him. And whoever seeks the pleasure of Allah while angering the people, Allah will be pleased with him and Allah will make the people pleased with him as well. Wassalam. That's it. So, this Muslimah who's asking the question has no other choice but to please Allah Azza wa Jal. How to, pray, how to break this to her kinship, this depends on her wisdom, her diplomacy, her way of conveying the message. This might be done by first addressing the bride or the groom, whoever is related to her, and then conveying to their parents, then conveying to the, her parents and to the relatives that, listen, I'm at the fork of a road, either to please you and attend or Please Allah Azza wa Jal and remain steadfast on Islam. Oh, do you think that we are not Muslims? I didn't say that. I said that Allah said so and so, the Prophet said so and so about free mixing, about music, about this and that. So once you make it clear to them whether they are okay with it or not, whether they're pleased with it or uh, not, this is not your problem anymore. You've done your due diligence, you've done your duty, and you've pleased Allah Azza wa Jal, and this, what, uh, this is what counts most.